Hi Silhouetters, Stoodling Debbie here with another video tutorial. This video tutorial is made upon request from one of the visitors named Pixie that visited the Silhouette uh, Learning Center. It's www.silhouettelearningcenter.com and you can go there to um, find some of my most popular tutorials that people have viewed a lot of times, some cutting files and little bits of information that I share along the way. Um, what she's working on a project and she's cutting fondant for a cake which um, I don't do fondant but I've seen some of the projects that are done and they're really stunning by the way but anyway she's doing a film strip and it's for a very special anniversary cake I believe and she has to bring several different photos into this uh, wavy film strip and then um, she wants to print it but of course she wants the edges of this film strip to cut out but with color. So I've already started on this project and now we're going to get busy to show you what needs to be done if you have a project like this. Okay. First of all, when you bring in a um, cutting file that you've purchased, uh, it's usually a compound path. And you can always tell when it's a compound path because if I would go and fill it like this, you see it fills in all of this background area as long as it's a, and leaves the little white circles. However, if you go to cut lines, you'll see that it's going to cut out these squares and cut out these little circles. Okay, let's go back to our window view and I'm going to undo this. We're going to just go right back to where we started from and it's back at a compound path. Now what I did here is I clicked on this, then I right clicked and I slid down here and you click release compound path. Okay, now each one of these little areas are closed paths and they're all separate now. No big deal. What I do is I selected this one, holding down my shift key, selected the next frame, then the next, and I just continue till I get them all selected. And here we are at the end. Okay, now I have these selected. I'm going to go ahead and go down here to the corner and select group. Okay, these are all grouped. And now I'm going to duplicate them twice. Control C, Control V. This is just my quickie way of doing it. You can also go to your replicate tool and select to duplicate it twice, but this is my way. And then another Control C. Control V and as you can see I moved one section to the bottom and the one section to the top. Since I've already done this I'm going to go ahead and delete these out and by the way I think if you're going to do a duplicate on a Mac computer it would be Command C and Command D but I'm not a hundred percent sure because it's been a very long time since I've used a Mac computer but anyway let's get back to this. Okay I've already done these three photos here and as you can see these are each individual because I grouped them up here because I'm working one at a time but I'm leaving them in place. Now I have my photo I'm going to drag it over here to the top of this then I'm going to right click and send to back. And now that I've done this I'm going to use my zoom tool and I'm going to just highlight right over this little area that I'm working in zoom up to it and I'm going to start scaling this picture down and setting it about right here and then it looks like I can scale it up a little bit so I'm going to and I want to keep her little face in there as much as I can so I scale it up about right to there since I went up I can go out a little bit as well just a tad more, a bit more out from what I can see. Because I want a little bit hanging off both edges here. Then I just grab my cursor and highlight them both. Go up to the modify tool and select crop. And that leaves me with this little picture and that's what I want. So I'm going to go back to the window view. So you can see what I do next. I'm sliding it down here to my next section. 
I'm going to zoom in on this, make sure I have it all nice and fitted in there really good. And as you can see, I didn't, so it's a good thing I zoomed in. Use my arrow keys and just move my arrow keys a little bit at a time till I get it right where I need it. And it looks like I can go up a tidbit right there. Maybe just another tidbit. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select the picture and the frame. I'm going to go ahead and um, just group these because it keeps it exactly where I want it. I could just leave the picture there, but I like to do it this way. Then go over to my cut lines because I want this to print, not cut. So I'm going to select no cut. Go back to my window view. So we can see what's going on here. I'm going to choose my line. I don't need a line. So no line color. And I'm going to hold down my shift key. Actually, I'm just going to drag across it because it's a little easier. And I'm going to go ahead and group these so I don't lose them out of their place. Now, I'm going to go over here and grab this other photo. I've already resized it a little bit. I'm going to go Control C, hop back over here to this one I'm working on, the wavy film strip. And then Control V to paste it there. Do the same thing here. Arrange, send it back. Grab this so I can work up close on it. And I'm going to grab this little handle and angle this little photo a little bit. And once again, dragging it so I get the best size image I can for this frame. And this is what I want to show you. Sometimes we don't always get exactly what we want to get for the picture we want. We can angle this again. I'm going to bring it back up here a little bit. I want to show that she's actually playing with the cell phone, so I'm going to fiddle with this picture a little bit more. And, well, no, let's leave it kind of in the center. And as you can see, I still have a lot of white area around it, but this is what I want in the picture is her with the cell phone. So this is a, going to be a little workaround. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to um, grab the cursor, highlight them both, go to the Modify tool, select Crop again, and it looks kind of weird, but we're going to fix that. Go back to my picture view. So I can drag this down here. Okay, then we're going to zoom in again so we can play around with this. And I need to move this around just a tad bit to get it lined up exactly right there with this. and my arrow keys and that's good enough for this demo here so this all this white area I don't want around this this box right here so what I'm gonna do is go into my um, fill color window grab this little microphone looking piece select an area that I think will look pretty good for the background there we go then I want to send this to the back and it's not perfect for one thing this photo has a little bit of a white edge on it and if I wanted to go back and mess with a little more I would but I'm going to go ahead and select these go to my line color select no line color group these together right click group go back to my regular view and I've already grouped these so I hold down the shift key and add this one to it and group it. Okay, now for these, I'm not going to fill them with photos. I'm just going to fill them with um, colors. Oops, color fill, sorry. We're just going to go and down this whole row, hold down the shift key, and I'm going to fill them all with the same color. 
and we'll just pretend like they're photos and then we'll go to no line color right there and now we can select all of these as though they're finished and we're going to right click and we're going to group them all together I can go ahead and get rid of these because I'm not going to use them okay then we're back up here these have already been grouped but now we don't need them either so we're just going to delete them out and I don't know if she would want these little circles cut out if I were doing a print and cut on fondant I wouldn't want them cut out so this is what I would do I would make sure I selected all of these little circles actually we can probably just go right to there and that should just select my circles because I don't see that this is selected and I'm going to go ahead and down here and group them I'm going to fill them with white we're going to go to the fill fill them with white then a line color we don't want a line color and now our film strip we want to fill it with a film strippy looking color so I'm going to go to this color advanced options I think film strips are more towards this color right here so I slide that bar back up and as you can see we still have our circles these edges are going to cut now we need the pictures so I'm just going to bring them up here position them where I want them and you can always use your arrow keys to make little bitty tiny adjustments now that these are all done I'm just going to select the entire selection and group them together so this is what we have she's going to print on fondant these pictures are all going to print out here that are in the strip this is also going to be left just blank so she doesn't unless she wants these little holes cut out and then if we go to our cut style window we're just going to select cut edge now we're going to go to our window view and it's ready to go I hope this helps you with a project that you may have similar to this one and like I said I've never done the fondant on the cakes I hope this helps others that are doing a project like this and hopefully you know it I'll get around to making some more video tutorials on different kinds of projects that may arise um, have a great day happy crafting happy cutting I'll see you on the silhouette plus form or at my blog spot or in the silhouette learning center bye now